So, hopefully you can hear me. My phone is balancing on Cricut Tub, so it could fall at any time. <laughs> anyway, if you are interested in a snake and you've never had one before, I'm going to go through the four best pet snakes you can get in Australia. They are all pythons, so they're not going to kill you. They are non-venomous slash poisonous, if you like to call them poisonous, but it is actually venom. Um, yes, like this adult stimmy here, they won't get any bigger than this, so there are lots and lots of really, really nice snakes in Australia. So let's start with number four. Number four on the list is actually not a small children's python. This is a Darwin carpet python. They are awesome, awesome little snakes, but they're not that small. They actually grow to about six foot. So they're like a normal carpet python, but obviously they come from Darwin. This one here is only about a month and a half old. He's got a little belly full of food. So they are probably the best carpet python you can easily get if you want something that's gonna get a little bit bigger than like three foot or so. Um, all little baby snakes are nervous and not really gonna bite unless they're scared like this little guy here, he's not biting, he's just wondering why I'm picking him up. But that is number four. So Darwin Carpet Python, this is a normal one. I will show you an adult in a second. This is as big as a Darwin Python is gonna get. So this girl, she's about 11, 12 years old, and she's probably about seven foot. So this is about as big as you want if you're going to go for a first snake. These don't get as big as your normal carpet pythons that everyone seems to want. Um, very cool snakes. She is enjoying the heat of the camera. Don't eat the camera. She may eat the camera. But yes, that is as big as they're going to get. So don't have a huge head. They're pretty docile. Um, snakes like jungles and that are smaller but a little bit more nippy. So. I would recommend this as number four if you wanted something bigger for your first snake. Okay, so number three on the list is spotted pythons. They get about a meter long. They are almost the same as a stimmy and a children's python. They're just on the east coast of Australia. Um, very cool little snakes, you can see by their pattern. So this is a blonde spotted python. There's a few different color morphs. You can get albinos and all that as well. Um, Awesome little snake. They are a little bit more nippy when they're babies compared to sort of stimmies and children's, just because they're a little bit more flighty. Um, but the same as any little snake, they will calm down the more you hold them. But yep, number three is a spotted. I will grab an adult. Did you just strike at me? Strike. It's okay. Really? Be me. There you go. That's as scary as a snake bite's gonna get. But I will grab an adult and show you how big they are. A less bitey spotted python. <laughs> that little one was not impressed. So this is about as big as an adult spotted python is going to get. So this male is probably, how old are you? Gotta be about eight or nine years old now. Um, there are different localities, some can get a little bit bigger than others, but a lot smaller than the Darwin carpet pythons. So pretty awesome little snakes. So let's go to number two on the list. Number two on the list is a Stimmy or Stimpson's Python. These are gorgeous little snakes. So they're only gonna get about 60, 70 centimeters. So they're very, very small. This little one here is probably only about a month and a half old. Um, sweet little snakes. So they are very non-bitey. Um, great first snake because they're small size. You'll only need about a two foot enclosure for one of these. How could you not like that? That is a lovely little snake, but yes. So they will only get as big as the one that you saw in the start of the video, which was an adult stimmy. Um, yes, let's go to number one. And number one would be children's pythons because they are awesome. They are probably one of the easier to get smaller snakes you can get in Australia. Um, max out at about 50, 60 centimeters. Very unlikely to bite. They are very cool little snakes. There are lots of color morphs to them, but one of the easiest first snakes you can get. I will grab an adult one to show you how big they get, but isn't that the sweetest little snake you've ever seen? And this is an adult children's python. So this guy is a marbled. Um, marbled is just the color morph. So see how he's got, got that marbling pattern to him? 
So whoever thought of the name, you did well. They don't get really any bigger than that. So that's probably about 60 centimeters or so. They are an awesome first snake. Um, pretty docile. I don't handle this one very often, only really at feeding time. And yeah, he's not biting at all. Um, really, really cool snakes. So if you wanted a first snake, I would suggest one of these guys, but any of them on the list are equally as awesome. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, any questions, comment below. Um, yeah, if you want more videos like this, just click the like button so I know, and we will see you in the next video. Starting out with snakes, they're not going to be monsters, they're not going to hurt you as they eat you. Did I just say that? <laughs>